What's up, Internet? This is Ramblin' Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Now, since the last time, uh, I spent maybe like 15 20 minutes to run around and fight some battles. Uh, reason being because when I looked at my sphere grid, I realized I was pretty close to some important abilities. Uh, most prominently with Lulu. You see, I've got Waterga and Thundaga here, so I've learned both of those. And one more sphere level, and I can learn Fyraga and Blizzog. And I consider those to be pretty important. We've been using the Aura level spells for a while, and they're starting to become a little bit obsolete. Uh, but in addition to that, I have also learned Death, which not super useful. I'll probably never use it, but it's there. And I learned Demi, which does a quarter of the enemy's current health uh, as damage. So that can be pretty useful. Um, it's pretty expensive, it costs 32 MP, but if you're fighting, say, one of those sandworms, they have 45,000 max health. So like, at the start of a battle, you're probably going to be able to do like 9,000 damage with Demi. So that can be pretty handy. Um, other than that, uh, let's see here. I learned, what's that, Sleep Buster? Silence Buster. Uh, the Buster attacks are the same as like the normal uh, status attacks, except they have a higher chance of success. So that's nifty. Uh, Kamari learned Sleep Attack, which... Come on, you. Which would be more useful if um, Waka didn't already know it, but it's there. Orin learned... that's Mental Break? Yeah. Which is the last break attack. Uh, it reduces your enemy's magic defense. Which, I'm not sure how useful it is, but it's there. And... Oh, I learned Haste Ga. That's pretty important. <laughs> that casts haste on all three of your current active party members. Uh, not all of those are things that I learned just from running around, but there's stuff that I learned recently. Now there's one last thing to see in this desert area. There's this big area to the east of this area with a sandstorm blocking your path. So we can't go there quite yet. So not much we can do about that. I just got a weapon from that battle for Riku. It might be better than what she's got. Okay, no, never mind. That's not what I thought it was. Anyways, let's head off towards the red arrow. Oh, another Sandragra. That wasn't too hard. Titus had his overdrive, so I took him out in one shot. A slice of dice. Yeah, I was going that way. Anyways, Riku, thanks. Uh, what's up? There are things flying around the building. I guess we're under attack. What? Yuna's down there. Of all the places, let's go. We have no idea if Yuna is actually there. So why are all these fiends attacking the Elbed? The fiends. Yevin and the Guado, how can they control fiends? A war between Yevin and the Albed? Now, this place is a lot easier to understand what's going on if you have been collecting the Albed primers. Which, thankfully, I have. 
Of course, that doesn't help you understand what the heck is being yelled in the background over and 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 over again. You weak, you friends? Well, just don't stand there. Come on. Let's go kick those Quato out of our home. Who? Sid. Leader of the Albed. He's my dad. Well, that's convenient. Yeah. We have to save Uni. Not only Yuna, right? Right. And over here, we find Albed Primer 19. Now, there's a lot of Albed Primers in this place, as I'm sure it's not too hard to imagine. And it's pretty important that you get these, um, because this is the only time you can ever come to the Albed home. If you do miss them, I think there's a place where you can get them again later on. Uh, but, you know. Might as well get them now. Yuna, where are you? Scripted battles. So we got a Guado Guardian and a bunch of bombs. Take out these bombs. Uh, let's try out Thundaga on this Guado Guardian. Not too shabby. Now, just like uh, previous battles, Guado Guardians will try to buff their allies unless you kill them. Uh, and if you haven't learned self-destruct for Kamari yet, you can obviously learn it from these things. Take that. Nothing too hard there. What in Yevon's name are those bottle thinking? I'm pretty sure they are doing whatever they're doing in Yevin's name. So, let's see what's in here. So he's leveling home. What do you say? We have to get underground. Where's Yuna? The summoner sanctum. This way. The summoner sanctum. I haven't fought dual horns for a while. Let's get blind on them. I wonder if these are like powered up versions of the dual horns we fought forever ago. Guess there's an easy way to find out. That looks like more HP than they had. Lulu needs some healings. So we should probably do that. Bye bye. Over here. Do I ever get to actually walk around here? Oh, I guess I that answers that. Now there's something in this hallway. I think 
pretty sure it's down this way a bit. Where are you? Hmm. Perhaps it's on the body? Oh, there's a door here. Durr. No, not that way. Shut up. Go this way if I wanna go this way. Uh sure. I don't think there's any particular element to use here, but whatever. I was hoping to get all three of the same elements so I could at least hit all of them. But, you know, things don't always go as you plan. Yeah, they're definitely stronger than their previous incarnation. Why they didn't just, like, rename and reskin them like every other monster in the game, I don't really know. Oh, and apparently that bar fills up faster if you have a higher magic stat. Which I mentioned just because I was saying in the previous episode, not really sure why that bar is so big. Well, it's so big because if you have high magic, you can get a lot of casts of the stuff. Now, most of the chests in the Albed home here are kind of interesting. Let's see. The treasure chest of dreams asks, what do I contain? That's not very helpful. Um. Hmm. Do I get to choose what's inside of it? I guess let's go with an elixir. Oh, okay. And this one, enter the password and proper albed. Sorry. Wait. Oh, now this is tricky. Since that and that could both be wait. Uh, is it? I think it's this one. Yes, okay. Pardon. Get a friend sphere. Oh, that's something else I wanted to mention. Um, the teleport sphere that I got last time, that lets you move to any node on the entire sphere grid. So that's pretty useful, but we want to use those sparingly. Very sparingly. And friend spheres let you move to wherever someone else is. Which is also useful. Not as useful as a teleport sphere, but still useful. And here we get Primer 20. Uni Dune? What's an Uni Dune? Okay, now we can go down this hallway. I don't know, here we have. It's probably the hardest fight in this place with chimeras, since chimeras are kinda tricky. Um, come on. Ah. Well that was kind of disappointing, but whatever. That was more effective than I expected. Uh, so you don't want to use fire or water on these guys, but thunder and ice are okay. Let's find Yuna, quick! Uh, there should be a chest around here with Albed potions. But will we ever be able to get out of the, uh, home place of the Elbed peoples? 
in time. Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you later.